This video is a crash course in using KiCad. It's for people that are slightly familiar with Electronix and are ready to start creating their first board. We're going to make a board that looks like this. Nothing fancy, just the basics. Let's get started. First off, download and install KiCad. After installed, this is what we'll see. So basically we have two files here. We've got the schematic and we've got the PCB. Let's bring that up. So this is our schematic view. We've got our parts library on the side. Here it's pulling in all the parts that we've got. We're gonna bring in a couple of them. So we've got battery, lead, and let's bring in a resistor. So connect those with a wire. And this is a super basic circuit. So from here, basically we can see we've got a battery, it powers the LED, it gives off light, it goes through a resistor to limit the current and closes the circuit. Now, symbolically, that's what the circuit is. Let's make it physically. This button here brings in the parts. First, we annotate. So each part you see here, it's got R question mark. D question mark, B, BT question mark. They need to be out, actually allocated. So if we go back, we'll see they're allocated here. Nothing's happened. All right, let's have a look, find out why. If you click on the part, say E, you see that there's no footprint. Footprints are how they actually exist in the uh, physical world. So symbolically, we've got it there, but we don't have physical uh, representation of it. So lead, they come in two types, surface mount and through hole. We're going to go with surface mount. Uh, and an easier one to solder, say, is 1206. Double click that, and now that's allocated. We'll do the same with the resistor. Surface mount, yeah, 1206. That's allocated, and the battery will attempt to do this, and we'll allocate a coin cell. Okay, so now if we come across and we pull in the actual footprints, we're given a couple parts here. So if we have a look at it, we can push R to rotate, and so we've got these interesting little wires that happen between them. You'll notice that they're actually the wires that we routed in the schematic. These are called air wires. Air wires are basically connections that are not actually made in the physical board just yet. So we can allocate them like this. You can also add text. Move that over. And so now we can actually view our board. So we've got the battery holder and we've got the resistor and the LED. And in copper, we've actually got the words, hello world. Hey, my name's John. I've helped entrepreneurs and people like yourself go from idea to done in electronics for over 15 years. I'm currently running some workshops. If you enjoy this content and want to learn more, I suggest jumping on and I look forward to seeing you there. See ya. So boards are actually made of multiple different layers. There's the FR4, which is basically the part in the middle. We've got copper, so the connections. Um, and then we've got silk screen, which is just uh, basically uh, writing over the top. So it's non-conductive. It's just printed on. It's just for reference. And we've also got a mask which is in this case green. So you can get multiple different board colors, um, quite a rainbow. But what we've got here is the battery goes in and we can turn on the LED. There's two other parts to do, which is the routing of the PCB. And for that, we just basically connect. And because we're not doing a high powered or or a very um, complicated circuit we can just use the default wire thickness uh, you can see the wire thickness here which is 0.25 mils 
It's not for heavy current, but that's not this application. So you can make an outline in many different ways. If we select edge cuts from the layers here, so Battlestar Galactica style, it does need to close. And so now if we go view the board, we've got it right there. Nothing on the backside at the moment, but we can add something there. So how we'll do that is you can add some text. I'll be back. You do need to flip it. So mirror, it's, and we can put it on the silk screen. Front silk screen, back silk screen. All right. Now, one does not affect the other because these are all surface mount. So if I edit this, we'll make it this a little bit bigger, all right? And if we go to view it now, we can flip it. From here, we basically need to um, prepare uh, for exporting the uh, bill of materials. Um, so basically it lists all the parts and also the, the, the board. We can use JLC PCB uh, to do that and we'll do that in another video. Hi, I'm John Miskos and I'm using my 15 plus years experience building things for entrepreneurs and companies to help you move from idea to prototype as quickly as possible. I look forward to helping you on your electronics journey. I'm John Miskos. Bye. Hey, my name's John. I've helped entrepreneurs and people like yourself go from idea to done in electronics for over 15 years. I'm currently running some workshops. If you enjoy this content and want to learn more, I suggest jumping on and I look forward to seeing you there. See ya.